Hey guys, well, I was supposed to go mountain biking today, but this is one of the rare days in San Diego it rains. So let's do a video review. This is the 2014 Salsa Horse Thief 2. I purchased this uh, at the beginning of 2015, got a pretty good deal on it because it was an older model. Overall, I absolutely love this bike. I have about 500 miles on it, and uh, according to Strava, I've actually done a lot of changes to it. Some of it was necessity. Some of it was just upgrades. So let's uh, let's get to the review. Uh, let's start at the cockpit. Not much has changed up here, although uh, I did change out the grips to something that had more uh, rubber, more cushion, something that added a color, you know, something that's more uh, a little bit of flair, if you, if you will. Uh, the headset um, has been uh, upgraded. I have a, uh, a, F a Cane Creek 40. I was having problems when I'd hop curbs with the old original OEM headset, which is a Cane Creek 10, and I'd get creaking. And um, as I took the thing apart, I realized that the inner race down here is actually a plastic split inner race, which is kind of lame. I, I don't understand how you could make a design like that quiet. But regardless, Cane Creek designed it. It must work for some frames. It didn't work for this one. Uh, once I put the 40 on there, it worked great. The uh, the Fock Evolution fork, as you know, it's their value line. It's not open bath. It's, uh, it has a cartridge dampener. Uh, originally, I was getting some clicking on this. I On the first ride, I noticed some clicking. And uh, I contacted Fox, and to their credit, uh, they sent me out a new dampener assembly, assembly up here. Uh, Maybe it's better tuned to heavier guys. I'm over 200 pounds, but the clicking has pretty much gone away. 120 millimeters of travel. Uh, this uh, this uh, fork has plenty of clearance. This is a 2.3 Vigilante WTB, and it looks like it can go a lot bigger. Um, one thing you'll notice is that the wheel set is not stock. Uh, I upgraded to a wider rim. This is a 23 millimeter internal diameter. These are set up tubeless, and uh, I built these wheels with a set of Hope hubs. And uh, the uh, the lightest, uh, uh, I guess the off-road version of the CX X-Ray Sapem for uh, spokes with alloy nipples. Uh, I was able to get a lighter wheel set than the stock, although I have to admit that the stock wheel set's pretty good. Uh, the, um, the the tires. Uh, well, one more thing: the the tubeless setup on this was a big pain uh, until I got the WTB rim tape. Normally, I use Gorilla Tape, but I could not get these things set up tubeless using that method. Once I used the the proper rim tape from WTB, everything worked great. I'm reg running uh, 2.3 Vigilantes. Uh, the Hans Dump tires were fantastic. I still have the front, although in rocky San Diego where I live, uh, these rocks just absolutely chew up those tires. On the rear, I got a um, about 100 miles before I was down to about 30% wear. They did not last long at all. And so, uh, an anyway, the, the brakes uh, have been fine. The Avid uh, Twin Piston Hydraulics, I've taken these to Angel Fire, uh, which is a bike resort, lots of downhill, and uh, they've been flawless. The, uh, the split pivot design is, is fantastic. Uh, didn't really have any issues with the rear shock. I don't really leave uh, the rear shock, I leave, kind of leave it in descend mode with the split pivot design. It seems to work fine even for climbing. Uh, for the front shock, let me tell you, I forgot to mention, there's really little difference between descend and, and tra trail mode. Uh, the climb mode is like their lockout. I pretty much leave it in descend all the time, although I'm going to start riding it in trail just to see how it feels. So, so anyway, the rear shock has been, suspension has been pretty flaw, flawless. Um, I did have to take apart these pivot points and grease things because I was getting some creaking here and there. Uh, that's been pretty much eliminated with some bushing grease. Uh, I am a, a maintenance guy. I love a quiet bike, so these things that I'm talking about, most people probably wouldn't even notice, but again, I just like something that's super quiet. Uh, the, the SRAM drivetrain, the 2x10, has been uh, a good drivetrain. I don't mean to hate on the 1x, but uh, I like the 2x system because it gives you better gear range. The front derailleur, yeah, I'd love to ditch that, but uh, uh, so far uh, it's, been, it's been pretty good. Maybe in the future I'll upgrade when the prices come down. I did add an integrated bash guard. You know this has the, uh, the mounts for uh, a chain guide. And that's what this true, true active uh, chain guy plus bash guard has. 
I got that just to protect the frame and since I installed it I think I dropped the chain once before I had it which uh, you know with this clutch uh, rear derailleur helps out a lot I don't get any chain slap um, I, so then you're probably wondering why I have the the bash guard here yeah I had it laying around I added it probably don't even need it to be honest with you and um, so anyway I like the two by I did change the cassette out um, I did upgrade both my ho uh, hubs to uh, Hope hubs and I noticed the stock SRAM uh, cassette was gouging the aluminum free hub body so I went with something that had more of a carrier I think this is the XT Shimano and uh, it's working much better it's not damaging my brand new Hope hubs that I'm, I really like a lot uh, rear tire clearance that's probably another beef of mine that on this bike this is uh, Nevigal's 2.2's and um, that's probably about as big as I'd want to run. Uh, the Hans Domp 2.3s work pretty well. Again, remember I have a wider rim now, so maybe that's affecting me. I've been able to run the GX Akas. Uh, the Vigilante I tried running on the back. Can't run it, there's just not enough uh, clearance. Uh, but what's really cool about Salsa, what I like about it, is that it, um, the, the guys that run the company, it's actually a small company. I've been able to go to a few bike seminars here in San Diego where some of the guys from Salsa come down for bike packing seminars and talk to them. I also reached out to Dave Weagle online and he answered some of my questions. I've been very happy with it. Before I forget, let me uh, talk about the seat. I do have a Lev dropper. I like that uh, dropper seat post. I'll probably always ride one uh, if I can help it from now on. Uh, the, uh, the WTB Volt seat that it came with was um, was a great seat. It fit my butt great. The problem is is that it has the cheap steel rails, and I was I bent those. So I found that the uh, Silverado seat was an upgrade from the Volt. It um, it's a little bit flatter profile, but it has the Chromo rails, which uh, should be stronger. It also has the uh, abrasion resistant sides, so that when you lean the bike over, dump it, or lean it up against a tree like now, the saddle's not impacted by it. But overall, I hope you found this review helpful. Hopefully it'll stop raining soon, but we really need the rain. But uh, get out there and ride. Thank you.